from Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Several breaking developments tonight in the coronavirus outbreak. The first, a major announcement from President Trump. We will be suspending all travel from Europe to the United States for the next 30 days. Also breaking, New York City's St. Patrick's Day Parade now postponed. More breaking news to tell you about the NBA tonight, suspending its season until further notice after a player tests positive for COVID-19. And a big announcement from actor Tom Hanks and his wife, Rita Wilson. The two now in isolation, both saying they have the virus. Meanwhile, these are live pictures from Kennedy Airport. Business as usual there tonight, but come Friday at midnight, it all changes. The U.S. closing its borders to parts of Europe and not to Americans. A very different situation than what the president initially said tonight. And now there is big confusion. The days you said where you weren't sure where it was going, right? Yeah, well, I, I was sick, really, really sick for about eight to ten days. And uh, I said, but two of those days I was starting to get my affairs in order, making sure I had them in order because it was, yeah, it was not a fun thing to have. And uh, I was kind of worried. March 2020 started out like any other year. My dad was busy making sure St. Patrick's Day went off without a hitch, and I was looking forward to the end of my senior year of high school. When St. Patrick's Day passed, my dad was always exhausted. We thought nothing of it. Suddenly, everything took a turn for the worst. March 17, 2020 began the worst three months of my family's lives. This is my dad's story. Hi everyone, I'm here with my dad today and we are going to talk about his experience with COVID. My first question for you is, what was life like in the weeks before you got sick? Did you see this coming? I did not see it coming. It was very busy. As you know, St. Patrick's Day was coming up, so I was busy at work and I usually get a little run down anyway, so I didn't see it coming. And was there a moment when you can remember realizing how bad your situation was when you did get sick? Uh, I guess Saint pa the parade was a Saturday. I guess that Monday, then that two days later when I started getting sick. For those of you who don't know, my dad owns an Irish pub in the city. So March is a very busy month for him. Uh, this happened right after the St. Patrick's Day parade, which is a big event in Pittsburgh. Um, my next question, whenever you were sick, how did you isolate yourself while living with two other people, being myself and your wife, my mom, and how did that make you feel? Uh, well, I stayed in my bedroom for about a month, uh, and you nor, uh, my wife was allowed to come in. Obviously, mom did once in a while to bring me something to eat or drink or medicine, but other than that, I was in there alone, and it felt lonely but mm. I slept mostly so and how did it feel needing a caretaker during that time how did it feel to have your wife have to take care of you and do all those things for you well nobody wants to have to have somebody take care of them so it, you know you feel a little guilty but you're, you're sick what can you do right uh, when you weren't sleeping what activities filled your time while you laid in bed television television did you have any favorites that you watched? Mm, not that you remember? Not, no, not at all. Um, and like I mentioned before, my dad is a business owner. Um, while you were sick and you weren't able to manage that part of your life, who did you count on? Uh, the other people that worked for me, uh, Ann, Declan, but it was COVID, so we weren't allowed to right. reopen. So we did to go food and so it was just the guy, Joe, in the kitchen and Ann working on the phone. And also for backstory, um, since my dad was diagnosed just at the beginning of COVID in March of 2020, uh, it was a very confusing time and a lot of people weren't getting diagnosed with COVID right away. He was diagnosed with the flu first and then bronchitis and eventually got to COVID. So when you were officially tested at Butler Hospital, what was your thought process on the drive there, and how did you get there? Uh, my brother Jamie drove me. Uh, I was kind of isolated in the back seat, kept away from him. Um, I was just really sick at that point, mm -hmm. so I really wasn't thinking anything. I was just miserable. Yeah. And while you were having these really dark days and hard times, what gave you hope? You. 
mom, Ayush. And was it hard being away from one of your daughters during this time? Because also for backstory, my sister was in college at the time and she was isolating in Philadelphia. So we weren't able to see her for quite some time. Did that, was that a worry for you? Also while you were sick, having a daughter be that far away? Uh, no, I mean, Ayush takes care of herself pretty well. And I was, I mean, I couldn't see you either. So, yep. you know. Kind of the same thing. And when you did begin to feel better, was it hard to be around people again? And were you nervous that you would still infect people after you were feeling better? Uh, no, I wasn't nervous. I was told that it was not contagious at that point, so I didn't worry about it. What did you feel was the most important lesson that you learned from having COVID and the experience that you went through? Lesson? Yes. If there's anything you learned uh, from you it. You can always count on family. And is there anything else you think that I should know about COVID or what you went through during that time? Yeah, you don't get it. Don't get, get it. Get your shots. Get your shots. Get away from it. Yes. Okay, well, thank you for sitting down with me and talking no about problem, this. Kate.